Oh.
Any senators that are missing? Mr. Carpenter, would you please call the roll? Senators Aguilar, Baumgardner, Cook, Corum, Cork, Crowder, Donovan, Finberg, Fields, Garcia, Gardner, Guzman. Hill. Holbert. John. Jones. Kagan. Kafalis. Kerr. Lambert. Lumberg. Marble. Martini Semenic. Merrifield, Moreno, Neville, Priola, Scott, 
Smallwood. Sonnenberg. Tate. Todd. Williams. Zinzinger. Gardner. Hill. Peter Guzman. Mr. President. Here. Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the call be raised. Motion is for the call to be raised. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Ayes have it. The call will be raised. Please excuse Senator Aguilar from the roll. Mr. Carpenter. Continuation of consideration. Senator Tate. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the Senate re-resolve itself into the Committee of the Whole for the continued consideration of General Order's second reading of Bill's calendar. Heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. All opposed, no. Ayes have it. And the Committee will re-resolve itself in the Committee of the Whole for consideration of General Order's second reading of Bill's. And Senator Tate will take the chair. Good evening. The committee will come to order. The coat rule is relaxed for all human beings in the Senate chamber. And, and aspiring humans as well. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read the title to Senate Bill 18-001. Senate Bill 1 by Senators Baumgartner and Cook and Representative Buck. Concerning transportation infrastructure funding and in connection with requiring the Transportation Commission to submit a ballot question to the voters of the state of the November 2018 general election, which, if approved, would authorize the state with no increase in any taxes to issue additional transportation revenue anticipation notes for the purpose of addressing critical priority transportation needs in the state by funding transportation projects would exclude no proceeds and investment earnings of no proceeds from state fiscal years. Limits would repeal an existing requirement that the state treasurer execute lease purchase agreements for the purchase for the purpose of funding transportation projects and would require 10 percent of state sales and use tax net revenue to be credited to the state highway fund for the purpose of repaying any notes issued and funding transportation projects thank you uh, senator baumgartner there are amendments on the desk Is there any further discussion on Senate Bill 1? Seeing none, the motion. Aye. <laughs> I understand. Uh, thank Senator Baumgartner, if you could uh, move the bill again. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, request a Senatorial 5. We'll be in a Senatorial 5 recess.
The Senate will come back to order. Senator Cook, we need a motion on the bill. Um, Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm, I'm going to renew my motion for uh, Senate Bill 1, and uh, I move Senate Bill, or I'm sorry, Amendment 45. Amendments are on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read Amendment L045. Amendment L045 to Senate Bill 1 by Senator Cook. Amendment printed bill strike everything below the enacting clause and substitute section 1 short title. The short Senator title. Cook. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Amendment 45 is a strike below on Senate Bill 1. Because of our uh, latest forecasts, we um, are going to add $500 million to um, CDOT for the transportation needs. It also takes $250 million in um, general fund money for 20 years to do the bonding. And the bill says that we're going to put this on the ballot to bond in 2018 for the election in 2018. And uh, pretty much that's everything else is pretty much the same in the bill that uh, was all the amendments and the, uh, uh, the committee reports. It's just a strike blow to make it cleaner. Thank you, Senator. Senator Zenzinger. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, members, while I agree with a lot that is in this amendment, um, I'm going to have to be a no, uh, simply because it uh, puts out there that we need to start doing this in 2018 instead of 2019, and so I would encourage a no vote. Any further discussion on Amendment L045? Senator Neville. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess I would like some conversation regarding any multi-page amendments that are being introduced tonight and the fact that we haven't had a chance to possibly read over those, and we may possibly be best off taking and laying all this over so that we have an opportunity to actually absorb and make an educated vote. Any further discussion on Amendment L045? Seeing none, the motion of the body is the adoption of Amendment L045 to Senate Bill 001, and a division has been called. So if all, any, everyone in the chamber not entitled to vote, please be seated. All members be seated as well. All the members in favor of Amendment L045, please rise. Thank you, members. All those opposed to Amendment L045, please rise. Amendment L045 is lost. There is another amendment, on, another amendment on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read Amendment L0? Four one. Amendment L041, Senate Bill One by Senator Zenzinger. Amendment Printed Bill Strike. Zenzinger. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, amendment 41 uh, does everything that was just in the amendment we voted on, except for it changes the year to 2019. And I encourage an I vote. Um, Senator, Senator Zenzinger, Zenzinger, if you wouldn't mind moving Amendment L041 as well. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I move uh, Amendment L041. Thank you, Senator. Is there any further discussion on Amendment L041? Okay. 
Um, all those in favor of Amendment L041 to, to Senate Bill 1, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no? Amendment L041 is adopted. Is there any further discussion on Senate Bill 001? There's another amendment on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read the title? I mean, please read Amendment L044. Amendment L044 to Senate Bill 1 by Senator Moreno. Amendment. Senator Moreno. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move Amendment L044. Is there any discussion on Amendment L044? Senator Moreno. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, colleagues, I don't mean to parse words in this bill. Uh, this just sh simply strikes the words highly successful from the description of the T-Rex program. I don't know if you have driven I-25 South lately, but I'm not sure that can qualify as highly successful. I ask for an I vote. Is there any further discussion on Amendment L-044? Seeing none, the motion of the body is, um, is the adoption of L-044 to Senate Bill 1. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. no. <laughs> that wanted no carries the vote. The amendment fails. Is there any further discussion on Senate Bill 001? Senator Scott. Mr. Chair, I'd like to request a senatorial five. Thank you, Senator. We will be in a senatorial five recess.
The Senate will come back to order. We're discussing Senate Bill 001. There's an amendment on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read Amendment L047? Amendment L047, Senate Bill 1 by Senator Scott. Senator Scott. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I move L047. Is there any discussion on Amendment L047? Senator Scott. Thank you, Mr. Chair. L047 basically says exactly what uh, we've been told for the last many, many months is that we need money for new projects. We've got literally hundreds of projects out there, and we want to make sure that CDOT focuses on the new projects that are out there that need to be done right now. Uh, and that's, that's if, we, if we're going to do this and put $500 million in the pot immediately, that would give CDOT the ability to get on those projects and get after it today. Thank you, Senator. Any further discussion? Senator Zenzinger. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, while I understand the intent of the amendment, I would ask for a no. Um, I think that we do need a little bit of money for maintenance, um, so I would ask for a no vote. Thank you, Senator. Any further discussion? Amendment L047, Senator Gardner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So in, in light of the uh, comment uh, in opposition from the Senator from Jefferson County that we need a little bit of money, uh, how much money of that 500 million might that be, Senator? Any further discussion on Amendment L047 to Senate Bill 1? Seeing none, the motion of the body is the adoption of L047. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no? No. The ayes have it, and the amendment is adopted. There's another amendment on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read Amendment L042? Amendment L042 to Senate Bill 1 by Senator Gardner. Amendment the Zinzinger floor. Senator amendment. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I move Amendment L042. Any discussion on Amendment L042? Thank you. Senator Gardner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, members, uh, my constituents uh, and, and the senator from El Paso County will know this to be true, um, are very concerned that these projects will be immediately and without question subject to tolling. And I initially considered an amendment that would just simply prohibit tolling on the new capacity, but that's too draconian and too, uh, too limiting on the Department of Transportation. What what this amendment would do is to say that uh, neither the department nor any enterprise uh, should construct or designate a managed lane, which is essentially a toll lane, um, unless they do certain planning things. Um, uh, take safety impacts into consideration uh, against the benefits of capacity expansion and congestion relief, whether or not narrowing lanes and shoulders would be a uh, a possibility, converting one or more existing lanes, optimizing traffic flow, uh, interchange modification, and so forth. So that tolling is not the first choice, but the last resort. I ask for an I vote on Amendment L042. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator Merrifield. Senator Cook. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I am no fan of toll roads. I don't like them. Um, uh, politically, it, we're making people pay twice, but from what I understand, um, there's already, Colorado Springs have already asked for uh, a project based on toll roads, and they submitted it to the federal government, and they're going to make their decision on whether or not the toll roads are included. So I'd ask for a no vote. For, and ACA also affects uh, my district, uh, or North I-25, because they submitted a project as well and uh, for uh, based on toll roads and so this could jeopardize I-25 North and I-25 South so I'd ask for a no vote. Any further discussion on Amendment L042? Senator Neville. Thank you Mr. Chair. Colleagues, I, I urge an I vote. When we talk about uh, the situation in Colorado it's about those with less being put into the slow lane if we're going to build roads and bridges and highways, let's let everybody run quicker, faster, and get from point A to point B. I would urge an I vote. This is, you can either vote for more Lexus lanes, 
for the rich or you can vote for the people and support L042. Thank you, Senator. Any further discussion on Amendment L042, Senator Jones? Any further discussion? Senator Jones. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Well, members, I ask for a no vote on this. Um, the new model, which we learned the hard way on US 36, is to have toll lanes to help pay for these roads. I don't think much of the model myself, but when that happened to us in Northwest Rail, there was a new uh, third lane put in gratis from Monument to Colorado Springs in the same time frame with no toll lane. Not having a toll lane on this stretch of highway when we're requiring it on I-25 North between Loveland and Fort Collins would be a big mistake. This is the new model. We should treat everybody in this state fairly. And this amendment should not be passed because everybody should be treated the same, whether you're northern Colorado, Denver metro area, south of Denver, all of us should be treated the same. Senator Marble. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I ask for an I vote for L042 because the people in the state of Colorado know that they've paid for these roadways over and over and over again. They have been so cheated out of their taxpayer dollars. And just because somebody has applied to the federal government for more money for toll lanes does not mean that the people of the state of Colorado are gonna be right with it. These toll lanes are another tax on the people for something they have paid for over and over and over again. This is not what the people of Colorado want. They know they've paid for the roads and bridges. Now give it to them. Senator Zenzinger. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would ask a no vote on this amendment. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Senator Gardner. Thank you. Well, members, colleagues, you know, this is really interesting because this amendment is not a prohibition on tolling. It is not in any way, shape, or form a prohibition on tolling. It's an amendment that requires highway traffic planning before one resorts to tolling. And the department has to, if it does toll, has to publish a detailed written database finding that clearly establishes when compared to the addition of one or more managed lanes, that means toll lanes, all of the alternatives evaluated are unfeasible to implement or too unsafe to be implemented or would not provide adequate capacity expansion or congestion relief. That's all this really requires. Don't make tolling a first resort, make it a last resort. That's a pretty reasonable solution to this problem. I, I have constituents who want me to simply prohibit tolling, and I said, I will, uh, I will not ultimately do that because I, I think it, it has its place. But this does require a study and findings, and I ask for an I vote on L042. Any further discussion on Amendment L042 to Senate Bill 001? Seeing none, the motion of the body is the adoption of L042. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. The noes have it. The amendment is lost. Is there any further discussion on Senate Bill 001? Seeing none, the motion of the body is the adoption of Senate Bill 001. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and Senate Bill 1, Senate Bill 001 is adopted. Majority Leader Holbert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move the committee rise and report. The motion for the body is to rise and report. All those in favor, please say aye. All those opposed, no. The ayes have it, and the committee will rise and report.
Well, we don't know where the order of the planets is because it's already been sort of oh. mind blowing to all of our groups that uh, we're capturing the information um, that it comes to us and it's uh, kind of inter uh, multimodal. So if, if, if the leadership called us second, we could have a slide and we could get to the slides to bundle them. Okay. Which is okay. Senate will come back to order. Senator Tate. Thank you, Mr. President. The committee met, had a bill under consideration. Mr. Carpenter, will you please read the report? Mr. President, your committee of the whole budget lead reports that on consideration the following test bills being second reading there makes line recommendation one symbol 47 is amended symbol one is amended past second read order gross place on counter for third ring and final passage house bill eleven ninety one is amended past second read order revised place on counter for third ring and final passage Senate bill one sixty six later until three twenty three two thousand eighteen retaining place on the counter. Senator Tate. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the report. Motion for the body is the adoption of the report to the Committee of the Whole. There is an amendment or two on the desk. Mr. Carpenter, would you please read Amendment 1, Committee of the Whole Amendment 1 to Senate Bill 1. Committee of the Whole Amendment 1, Senate Bill 1. Senator Donovan moved to amend the report of the Committee of the Whole to show that the following John Floor Amendment L027 to Senate Bill 1 did not pass. Amend the Transportation Committee report dated January 23, 2018, page 1, strike lines 1 through 3. Senator John, or Senator. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I withdraw amendment cow number one. Thank you. Mr. Carpenter, would you please read? All right. Committee of the whole amendment two is withdrawn. Committee of the Whole Amendment 3 is withdrawn. Mr. Carpenter, would you please read Committee of the Whole Amendment 4 to Senate Bill 1. Committee of the Whole Amendment 4 to Senate Bill 1. Senator Neville moved to amend the report of the Committee of the Whole to the following Zenzinger Floor Amendment L041 to Senate Bill 1 did not pass. Amend printed bill, strike everything below the enacting clause and substitute section one short title. The short title of this act is Fixed Colorado Roads Act, section two legislative declaration. One, the General Assembly hereby finds and declares that A, Colorado's population is expected to increase over 6,900,000 by 2030. B, population growth has significantly increased traffic and congestion and will continue to do so in the future, causing longer travel times, increasing air pollution, decreasing Colorado's access to recreational opportunities and accelerating the deterioration of Colorado's transportation infrastructure. C, the growth of the economy of the state has prompted new and ever-increasing uses of public highways, roads, and other transportation infrastructure, and the existing transportation infrastructure of the state cannot accommodate such greatly increased uses. D, in order to preserve and improve Colorado's economic prosperity and quality of life, it is necessary to develop and maintain. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, I move Committee of the Whole 004 and ask for an aye vote. Colleagues, this amendment to the original Senate Bill 1 basically defeats the major purpose of Senate Bill 1 in creating bonding and actually getting something in a position to be on the ballot in 2018. It kicks the can down the road with a hope and a promise. Colleagues, hopes and promises around here are not worth a heck of a lot. I urge 
I urge the adoption of Committee of the Whole 004. It's time that we do it this year in 2018. Senator Hill. Colleagues, I've got the utmost respect for my colleague from Jefferson County who has served on Education and Finance Committee together a lot. Promises are important. We made promises to our constituents. I know I did. Made promises that we would do something on transportation, that we would solve for us. It's that 17-mile stretch from Monument to Castle Rock that I drive twice a day, go, coming up here every morning, going back to see my family every night. We made promises around the state that we would do something on transportation. This amendment that we adopted uh, and that this cow would strip off actually draws us back and puts us back to not getting something done. It doesn't get as much done. Right now, Senate Bill 1 does not get as much as I would like it to get done. I would love to do as much as we possibly can this year and push the envelope. And I don't think we're doing that, admittedly. But what we are doing is putting $500 million towards transportation this year. And we are saying that next year we plan on running this bonding. That to me is fulfilling a promise, a promise that we said we were going to honor the wishes of our constituents and work to get something done. As so often happens up here with a Republican Senate, a Democrat House, and a Democrat governorship, we all give something. I feel like we have given a little bit, but we are moving the ball forward and honoring our promises to fund transportation this year. I respectfully ask. Uh, that we keep the bill the way it is and not adopt the Committee of the Whole Amendment. Senator Neville, you get those. And Senator Zenzinger. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would ask for a no vote on this cow. Um, I agree with my colleague from Colorado Springs uh, that I think we need to, in the best interest of um, this chamber, to move forward with Senate Bill 1 as we passed it. I think it's a significant step forward, and so I would ask for a no vote on this cow. Thank you. Senator Neville. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Colleagues, this kind of reminds me of something I remember when I was uh, a young man watching a football game out in Denver. Actually, it was, I don't even believe it was in Denver, I believe it was in Oakland, watching Lou Saban, who was the coach of the, uh, the Denver Broncos. And we called him Half a Loaf Lou, because if you remember that game, the Broncos played the Oakland Raiders to a position where they dominated them, but they had an opportunity, and the Oakland Raiders tied the game up at the last moment. And so instead of going out and with a minute and a half going out and trying to get the win, Lou Saban went into a prevent offense. A prevent offense. Colleagues, that's what we're doing here. Prevent offense, saying that we're going to declare victory with half a loaf. But that's not even true because we don't have a loaf. We don't have the bonding in place. We say we have a promise. We have $500 million. We've already heard that money might be used for transportation. No guarantee there. There's no guarantee. We have something possibly in place, but we have nothing to back that up. And what do we keep hearing from CDOT every year? We keep hearing from CDOT, they want a bonding program that they can rely on. So we don't do that. So we put the bonding program into 2019, an off-year election. Now. Some people might say, who does that benefit? Well, I do believe it does benefit certain people, and I believe it actually hampers other people. I'll let the people out in the audience figure that out, and I'll let those voters figure that out. But colleagues, we have an opportunity to provide a good bill to our colleagues in the House and let them decide what they would like to do with it, as opposed to going for a half a loaf before we even send it over. I urge and I vote. Senator Todd. Thank you, Mr. President. And I guess I don't consider it a half a loaf. I consider it well planned, well calculated, and well worked together in a collaborative manner. The collaboration of L041 has been worked on all week with members of the Transportation Committee. The bill would simply, with that amendment, allow us to 
plan, prepare, and do it right for 2019. That was an agreement. That was an understanding for a compromise. That was an understanding for a bipartisan compromise. It concerns me that at this point, we're coming back and saying, oh no, we're gonna shove it through this year. When the people who have been working, negotiating with the House, as well as in the Senate, I urge a no vote on this cow. We got it right when the good senator from Arvada, who has worked diligently to bring forward a possibility, I urge you to stand strong on what we just passed and what we voted on and vote no on this proposed cow. Thank you. Senator Neville. So, to the good senator from Arvada, would you be willing to tell us when this was actually procured to the sponsors? Senate Bill, or the uh, L041. When was that actually given to the sponsors? Was it a day ago, two days ago, or was it this morning? Is there any further discussion? Motion before the body is the adoption of Committee of the Whole Amendment 4 to Senate Bill 1. Are there any no votes? Senator Merrifield, Senator Guzman, Senator Williams, Senator Zenzinger, Senator Todd, Senator Garcia, Senator Kerr, Senator Jones, Senator Cafales, Senator Moreno, Senator Fields, Senator Kagan, Senator Donovan, Senator Court, Senator Fenberg, Senator John, Senator Corum, Senator Hill. Sixteen ayes, eighteen noes, zero absent, one excused. Committee of the Whole Amendment 4 is lost. Mr. Carpenter, please read. Committee of the Whole Amendment 5 to Senate Bill 1. Committee of the Whole Amendment 5 to Senate Bill 1. Senator Cook moved to amend the report of the Committee to Hold the Show of the following Cook Floor Amendment L045 to Senate Bill 1 did pass. Amend print a bill, strike every. Cook. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I move uh, Committee of the Whole re, uh, Amendment L, or 005 to show that L045 did pass. Is there any discussion? Senator Zenzinger. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I would encourage a no vote on this cow amendment. Thank you. Is there any further discussion on Committee of the Whole Amendment 5 to Senate Bill 1? Motion before the body is the adoption of Committee of the Whole Amendment 5 to Senate Bill 1. Are there any no votes? Senator Merrifield, Senator Garcia. Senator Jones, Senator Todd, Senator Zenzinger, Senator Guzman, Senator Fields, Senator Cafales, Senator Moreno, Senator Kagan, Senator Donovan, Senator Court, Senator Kerr, Senator Fenberg, Senator John, Senator Williams, Senator Corum, Senator Hill, Sixteen ayes, eighteen noes, zero absent, one excuse. Committee of the Whole Amendment five is lost. <laughs> Mr. Carpenter, would you please read Committee of the Whole Amendment six to Senate Bill one? Committee of the Whole Amendment six to Senate Bill one. Senator Zinzinger moved to amend the report of the Committee of the Whole to the following Scott Floor Amendment L zero four seven to Senate Bill one did not pass. Amend the Zinzinger Floor Amendment Senate Bill one L zero four one page six line one strike except and substitute the Department of Transportation shall expend money transferred from the general fund of the state. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I would encourage an I vote on this amendment. 
I feel that it's very important that uh, this amount of uh, money that we are uh, dedicating to CDOT um, uh, be unencumbered with any type of specific direction to go only for new highway construction projects. And so I move COW 006 and ask for an aye vote. Is there any further discussion? Senator Scott. Thank you, Mr. President. I would urge a no vote on this COW amendment. Is there any further discussion? Senator Neville. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, colleagues, we talk about working in good faith. This is where we see good faith. We talk about building roads and bridges, encumbering money in a situation like this. We're supposed to be dealing with roads and bridges, so we don't want it encumbered. So let me ask you, that trust, that promise, that some colleagues on my side say, oh yes, trust and promise is important. This basically shows you how important it is. Not very important. I would urge a no vote on this. And let's make sure at least what we are getting, even if it is only half a loaf, it actually does go towards something that involves roads and bridges and construction. I urge a no vote. Is there any further discussion on Committee of the Whole Amendment 6? Seeing none, the motion before the body is the adoption of Committee of, Whole Committee of the Whole Amendment 6 to Senate Bill 1. Are there any no votes? Majority Leader Holbert. Senator Priola. Senator Smallwood. Senator Tate. Senator Lambert. Senator Lundberg. Senator martinez Humanic, Senator Sonnenberg. Senator Hill. Senator Marble. Senator Baumgartner. Senator Crowder, Senator Corum, Senator Cook, Senator Scott, Senator Gardner, Senator Neville. Please add the president. With 16 ayes, 18 noes, zero absent, one excused, committee of the whole amendment, six is lost. Ms. Carpenter. Please read Committee of the Whole Amendment 7. Committee of the Whole Amendment 7 to Senate Bill 1. Senator Gardner moved to amend the report of the Committee of the Whole to show the following Gardner Floor Amendment L042 to Senate Bill 1 did pass. Amend the Zinzing Report. Gardner. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I move uh, Committee of the Whole Amendment 7. To the amendment. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Members, it's one of the curious things about our process that one has to have a cow to separate the sheep from the goats. Now, this amendment, I, I don't want you to be deceived about this amendment. This amendment doesn't, in any shape, form, or fashion, prohibit tolling. It only says that the Department of Transportation or an enterprise, if there's a, some kind of an enterprise running, running a road like you have out on the E-470, before it imposes tolls, has to look at all the options available before that. And I, I won't read them all again to you, but I will note to you on the second page of the, the Cow Amendment, if there's going to be tolling, then the department has to publish detailed written database findings that clearly establish that when compared to the addition of one or more toll lanes, managed lanes, all of the alternatives evaluated are unfeasible to implement or too unsafe to be implemented or would not provide adequate capacity expansion or congestion relief. Frankly, members, that's not a very huge burden. It just says, you got to stop and think. Doesn't prohibit tolling. Just says, department, you got to stop and think about this before you do it. As the senator from Fort Collins said, you know, People of Colorado, my constituents, have paid for the, this expansion over 
and over and over again. Before they have to pay one more time, they'd like to know that every other opportunity has been considered. I urge and I vote on Cal Amendment 7. Senator Jones. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, members, uh, this may be a cow, but it's not a goat or a sheep, but it is certainly a turkey. Uh, I would ask for a no vote on this. The short story is, is that on US 36, we have a toll lane. And those people are paying the toll. People south of Denver can pay a toll, and they got a free lane that didn't have to pay a toll from Monument to Colorado Springs already, which is already unfair. So I ask for a no vote on this turkey of an amendment. Any further discussion of birds or other animals? <laughs> Senator Gardner. Thank you. And so in honor of Ag Day, I would ask that you vote aye for Cal 007. Senator Zinzinger. And in honor of Ag Day, I would encourage you no on uh, cow 007 because spoiled milk is not good for you. <laughs> Senator Sonnenberg, no rebuttal. <laughs> Any further discussion? Seeing none, the motion before the body is the adoption of Committee of the Whole Amendment 7 to 7, Senate Bill 1. Are there any no votes? Senator Todd, Senator Zinzinger, Senator Guzman, Senator Garcia, Senator Fields, Senator Jones, Senator Kafalas, Senator Donovan, Senator Court, Senator Kerr, Senator Fenberg, Senator John, Senator Williams, Senator Crowder, Senator Corum, Senator Tate. With 18 ayes, 16 noes, zero absent, one excused, Committee of the Whole Amendment 7 is adopted. motion before the body is the adoption of the report to the Committee of the Whole. Are there any no votes? With 34 ayes, zero noes, zero absent, one excuse, the Committee of the Whole report is adopted. <laughs> Senate Bill 47 is amended. Senate Bill 1 is amended. Passed on second reading, ordered and grossed and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. House Bill 1191 is amended. Passed on second reading, and ordered revised and placed on the calendar for third reading and final passage. Senate Bill 166 laid over until 323.18 and retaining its place on the calendar. Okay. Committee reports. March 20, 2018, the Committee on Finance has had in consideration had a hearing on following appointments and recommends of appointments placed on the calendar confirmed. Member of the Colorado Lottery Commission for term expiring July 1st, 2021, the Honorable Charles Dennis Mays of Pueblo, Colorado, an attorney admitted to the practice of law in Colorado for not less than five years, reappointed. March 21st, 2018, Committee on Health and Human Services, after consideration of the Mayor's Committee, records the following. House Bill 1180 be postponed indefinitely. March 21st, 2018, Committee on Health and Human Services, after consideration of the Mayor's Committee, records the following. House Bill 1148 be referred to Committee Hold, a favorable recommendation. Announcements. Senator Lambert. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, with a late change, just wanted to announce that the Joint Budget Committee will start our deliberations tomorrow morning at 0800, 8 o'clock in the morning. Senator Sonnenberg. Thank you, Mr. President. In honor of Ag Day and boiled milk. Boiled or spoiled? Boiled or spoiled, Senator? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, both, if you do it that way. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I announced earlier today, reminder of the lunch tomorrow. I did not tell you about tomorrow evening is the annual steak fry that was uh, started by Logan County Farm Bureau years ago, right across the street in the Baptist Church. Uh, for you vegetarians, there are plenty of uh, vegetables for you to eat as well, so we would love to have your company as well, because farmers actually raise those vegetables as well. I just happen to eat my greens after they've gone through a cow. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? No, it didn't sound right at all, actually. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. After conferring with myself and the minority leader, um, I asked to be excused uh, tomorrow um, through noon. <laughs> i got to get a tooth fixed. <laughs> Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I move that the Senate adjourn until 9 a.m. Thursday, March 22nd. The motion is for the Senate to adjourn until 9 a.m. Thursday, March 22nd. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed, no. Ayes have it, and the Senate will be adjourned. <laughs>